When you think of the, uh, the, the great organisations, if you think of symphony orchestras, for example, or opera companies, they're a very far removed from the solo performer, the powerful and significant and charismatic solo performer. They depend on people working together, of being disciplined, of spending a lot of time together. And the cost of putting on a great production of any great, great, great work will never be achieved uh, by ticket sales alone. Uh, and if you make the ticket sales of astronomical uh, cost, then of course you deter audiences from coming in. But essentially, uh, you had great patrons in the past. Maureen Wheeler is, of course, the classic example uh, with the Melbourne Ring of 2013. Uh, but government, historically, has been the great provider of support. The ABC orchestras, for example, now, of course, freestanding corporate entities. But they depend on the support of, of, of companies, of patrons generally, and assistance from the government. The point about government intervention in the arts is that government better, is better placed than anyone to set long-term objectives and to be able to have that long-term commitment and to be able to say, we think these issues are really important. We want more and more of our people to exercise that brain function. I mean, if you take the argument, which I think is a very powerful, in fact, an overwhelming argument, if you want to postpone the age at which people, say, sink into dementia. There's no doubt that access to the arts, access to the arts at the highest level, is very likely to be a factor that delays that onset. Even if you looked at that from a narrowly economic point of view, you'd say, well, that makes investment in string quartets or the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra or indeed Melbourne Recordings a very, good, a very good investment because you're going to save people from simply losing control of their lives, losing control of their minds, becoming institutionalised, becoming, becoming dependent. The challenge of the great art is that it enables people to experience life at the fullest. Sometimes people aren't prepared to take the risk, but I encourage them to have a go.